my channel so today's video is going to be on how I contour. Basically I think this video is long past due just because a lot of people question on how to contour when they first start off with makeup. So I hope this video helps you out. I am going to be highlighting with the new Becca Cosmetics collaboration with Jaclyn Hill the face palette. So I'm extremely excited. This palette is freaking gorgeous. And I'm going to just show you guys real quick just in case some of you don't know what it looks like. But it's so beautiful. So if you guys want to see how I contour and highlight, please continue to watch. Hey beauties, welcome back of course. So I already moisturized my face with the Cleaner Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I like this moisturizer because it prevents pimples and you can honestly pick it up from any drugstore. I'm going to be priming my face with the NYX Primer Hydra Touch. One of my friends recommended this primer to me and I absolutely love it. I like to focus the primer right on that nose area just because that's where most of my foundation moves throughout the day. I want to really make sure this is all blended in my skin so I can apply the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation in the color Porcelain. I'm going to be using the Morphe M439 brush to apply. <laughs> Now I'm going to be going in with the Real Technique Beauty Sponge and I'm going to be blending out my foundation even more. I always like to do a coat of Beauty Blender just because I feel like it really, really makes your skin look extremely flawless. Now I'm going to be taking the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay and I'm going to be applying this underneath my eye. If you guys cannot already tell, this is my favorite concealer at the moment. And I'm going to be making kind of an upside down triangle. Not an upside down triangle. I'm making kind of a triangle underneath my eye just because this will definitely help with the overall look once you contour by bringing that highlight down. If you have a wider nose like me, you can take that concealer and put it on the sides of your nose. That will make your nose appear a little bit thinner. Now I'm going in and going straight down my nose and on top to highlight the forehead area. And this is personal. If you guys want to do your chin, you can. I am going to be taking that concealer and kind of covering up my pimples because I've been breaking out so bad. And lining that liner just so it's extremely, extremely highlighted once I blend it out. I'm going to be taking the opposite side of the beauty blender and taking that part so it's easier to blend out the concealer underneath my eyes. You could do this of course or you can take a concealer brush if it, that makes it easier for you but it's whatever your preference is. And I'm just going to be blending out all the concealer all over my face with the Real Technique Beauty Sponge. Now I'm going in with the Holy Grail Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm going to be setting my face with this Morphe brush. I absolutely love this brush for setting me setting underneath my eye. It's from one of their brush sets, so I will link it down below, of course. And I'm going to be applying this wherever I put concealer. You want to make sure you get every area just so that concealer does not crease, especially throughout your day. You will notice it if you do not set it. I'm going to be going in with the Kat Von D shade light palette and I absolutely love this palette. This is definitely number one in my eyes. I'm going to be using the both shades, the light tan and the medium tan and I'm going to be using this Real Technique flat contour brush in the number is 301. I don't know if that really helps but you can find it at like Harman's or stores like that. I'm going to be applying this from the start of my ear to kind of like the middle of my cheek. I use this contour brush for many reasons just so you guys can see that as you contour it might look sloppy at first but once you guys set it with the Laura Mercier translucent powder you could kind of fix anything up. I will definitely get a cream contour video up for you guys but for now I thought this would definitely help you guys out if you guys don't contour and you are trying to learn. But you really want to make sure you blend your life away and connect it to the tip of your forehead as well not really the tip but right there I was kind of waiting for me to do that but right there you really want to make sure it blends out so the contour is connected and it doesn't look like you added random muddy brown lines to look like you have cheekbones if you have a larger forehead you can add more dark shadows to your forehead to make it appear smaller but it's all up to you and what kind of face structure you have I do want to put this out there that contouring for everyone can be in different areas you just got to learn your face practice makes perfect I like to start right in the front of my ear like if you guys can really see where, where my sideburn is and I like to kind of just cut my cheek if you guys have cheekbones already you can kind of add a shadow underneath you don't really need to cut it because then it might look extremely extremely noticeable now I'm taking the Real Technique Beauty Blender, Beauty Blender, Beauty Sponge, whatever it is, and I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to bake my face. Now I'm taking the opposite end because it's easier to get a sharp edge. You can honestly use the a flat contour brush for this or even one of those beauty sponges, whatever your preference is. 
in my life, I really think that baking makes or breaks a contour. I am not the neatest with contouring, so I really, 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 really need to bake pretty much all the time. I just like the results. I think everything looks so much sharper and more on point, and I just really like, just love the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I can't get my hands off of it. Now I'm taking this small eyeshadow blending brush. I got it from Urban Decay. One of their palettes came with it and I'm going to be contouring my nose with it. I like to use this brush because I'm most comfortable with it. I want to drag the start of my brow to the bottom of my nose and then cup it up front. My nose is on the larger side so cupping it really makes a difference. And of course blending, blending, blending. I don't like the nose contour to look too noticeable but it is hard because you know you are putting too dark lines. Now I'm taking the Morphe Flat Contour Brush. This is the MB30 and I'm going to be baking the sides of my nose. I like to do this because then your nose will appear thinner by really highlighting the outside areas and darkening the, you know, the inside of your nose. Now I'm going in with my favorite dose of colors, Bear With Me Liquid Lip. I just wanted to add this to this tutorial because I didn't have lipstick on and of course this is kind of my favorite liquid lip right now and I have a lot of liquid lips but this is probably my favorite at the moment I just love it it's such a pearly pink color it's just so pretty I love 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 now I'm taking that morphe brush and just wiping off any leftover translucent powder that's still on my face and making sure that everything looks extremely natural and there's no product left on my face to the handy dandy beauty sponge I'm gonna be blending out my nose contour a little bit more because it is very noticeable so I do not want that to be the case now I'm going back in with the same brush I contoured with and I'm gonna use whatever product is left over and just tracing over those lines if you guys were wondering I have the all burgundy times on my eyes for Mac and I'm just applying a little bit to the underneath my waterline because I didn't get to do that without the concealer on I'm going in with my L'Oreal telescoping just adding to the eyes because I didn't put mascara on before this tutorial <laughs> Finally get to use this beauty. This is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection Face Palette that is absolutely beautiful. I think it's so gorgeous and I'm absolutely in love. For blush, I'm going to be using the Rose Spritz and for highlight, I'm using the Prosesco Pop. I'm using any type of blush brush that was in my view. I'm not really sure where this is from but I will link it down below and I'm going to be focusing on my cheekbones and just dragging it out to my now I'm taking the Morphe M501 brush to highlight. I'm using the Persesco Pop, which I've been obsessed with all week. I literally use it every day. And I'm using an excessive amount of highlight for this look. I'm going to be applying this right above my contour and even on the top of my brow. I like to add it to that area because I really like an extreme highlight. It's I like to add a little bit to my chin and take my finger and apply this to the tip of my nose. Applying the highlight straight down your nose will also make your nose appear thinner. I like to just do it right on top of my lips. I did, should have done it before I put my lipstick on, but it is what it is. And of course, adding a more and more highlight because you can never go wrong with too much highlight. And that completes this tutorial. guys so much for watching as always i hope you enjoyed if this helped you out with how to contour and highlight please like this video and of course leave feedback i would love to know what you guys like to see in the upcoming week so definitely let me know thank you guys again and i'll see you guys next week